what's up guys welcome back to another youtube video today we got chest and shoulders it'll be a good one here i'm happy to get in the gym today we are weighing 271 pounds and we got two meals left of the day so far that's exciting because the number on the scale is going back up i was sick for a little bit and it went down a couple pounds but we're rebounding back pretty quick which is fantastic just finished up my pre-workout meal and my pump shake before i left so this should be a really really good workout today my shoulders are a huge strong point on my physique and after a lot of time of a little bit of extra training and extra dedication i was able to really bring up my chest so my chest is really a good point in my physique right now as well i'll be excited to show you guys the workout that i do today to really help build these shoulders and this chest up and we'll get right into that shortly chest and shoulders is definitely one of my favorite days of the week love to see the pump in that and i'll make sure to get that in the video towards the end i've been pretty impressed so far because with my clean diet and meal plan i've really been putting on a lot of mass here slowly but surely just turning weight into muscle which is great but i really have been moderately lean the entire time that i've been bulking here which has been very very nice for me because when i first started lifting actually I went from like 180 pounds to 270 pounds, but I looked nothing like what I look now. I was a lot chubbier. There was a lot less definition in there. Basically no muscle striation, just a bunch of size of fat, water, and a little bit extra muscle. Now that I've started to take everything super seriously as far as bodybuilding goes and I'm 100% dedicated to what I'm doing, I'm seeing some phenomenal changes. It's never too early or too late to start training like a bodybuilder. If you want to get on a strict meal plan and you want to get on a strict training regimen and you want to discipline yourself and keep yourself motivated, you will see excellent progress. It is really, really simple. Bodybuilding is really just a one-to-one -one ratio. Whatever you're going to put into it is what you're going to get out of it on the back end. So for me, I take my training and my bodybuilding style one day at a time and I constantly make sure I'm analyzing what I'm doing as far as sleep, food, training intensity, all of that. And I try to keep it as dialed as I can and as focused as I can with minimal distractions so I can really, really build the best version of myself. At the end of the day, I feel like I definitely have the drive and dedication to get myself to where I need to be. I appreciate you guys' likes, comments, suggestions, and support on the last video and the videos prior. It's really incredible what you guys are doing for me, and I will make sure to reciprocate the energy that you guys give me into all this content that I put out as I go forward here. It's really, really exciting to keep this channel on the up and up, and it's, it's, very, it's really fun for me. I really don't mind recording these videos. They're very simple. It's just me training, just one-on-one -on -one with me and you guys and it's honestly quite fun it's like a little documentation of mine so one of the biggest things i struggled with when i started bodybuilding was eating um in a surplus because my body with my metabolism and everything else just really really did not want me eating in that surplus every single time i'd try i would feel sick tired want to throw up and it was just awful but after enough time of trying and trying again, I finally trained my body to accept surplus as a food. And now I'm, I'm eating six meals a day, uh, where when I started, I used to only be able to eat two to three in a day. Eating with bodybuilding is definitely a skill that you develop as you continue going. So don't be discouraged if you're out there and you're trying to put the calories you need in and you're not quite hitting it. Just take your time, do what you gotta do to figure it out, assess yourself, assess your body, understand your body, and then feed yourself accordingly and really train yourself to be able to eat that amount of food that you need because what you do outside of the gym is just as important as what you do in the gym, if not more important sometimes. You could train as hard as you want and as intense as you want, but if your nutrition, your sleep, 
and your day-to-day -day care, your body isn't there, you're not gonna see the results that you wanna see at the end of the day. And you're gonna be frustrated because, you know, it's hard, bodybuilding is hard. You go to the gym, that's the fun part. Eating your six meals, feeling nauseous after finishing the last one before you gotta go to bed, all that stuff is, that's the biggest battle. You gotta fall in love with the sport for everything that it is. And once you do, you'll realize that nothing is gonna stop you from making that upward climb of daily progress. And you'll be so proud of yourself and you'll have so much drive and you're never gonna wanna give up once you get to that point. Hardest part about bodybuilding is getting into the swing of everything. We're about a couple minutes from the gym now. So I'm probably gonna end this off here and get a really, really good chest and shoulder workout in. And uh, I'll see you guys there. All right, let's see what we weigh. Pretty good weight. All right, first thing we got here is a super set of pec deck and decline chest press. We're gonna start off with this drill to get that shelf going. Chest is feeling pretty freaky already. Now we got incline press. Now I can really get that upper chest filling in.
just finished up some incline dumbbell presses. Couldn't get those on video for you because there was way too many people by the dumbbells. But next up, we got decline cable flies here. Just finished up those decline cable flies. My chest is really feeling that. And now we just got a super set of rear delts and dumbbell lateral raises and some push-ups and then I'll get a pump you. All right, we just finished up here. Didn't want to bore you guys with three sets of just push-ups, but let's, without further ado, let's get right into the pump. I'm gonna keep this outro short and sweet. Just finished up my cardio. Thank you guys for all the support on these videos. Really happy with my chest pump today. Really, really killed it today. So I'm really, really happy with that. I'm looking forward to more progress to make here. The muscle's really starting to take some serious shape here. And it uh, looks like we're starting to look like a bodybuilder here. So that pretty much wraps up the video today i hope you guys enjoyed if you did like and leave comments i'd really appreciate it my socials will be in the bio as well if you want to follow any of those and keep up to date with me on my more day-to-day -day life but other than that i got two more meals tonight and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching